Welcome everyone to our casual chat with an alum, where we ask the question, why Utrecht University? My name's Lo, and alongside my colleagues here, uh, I'll be in the chat, if you're watching live, to answer your questions. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Earlier this week, we asked an alum, Betty from Hungary, uh, why she chose UU, not for just one master's degree, but actually two. So, without much further ado, here's what she had to say. So, yeah, to tell you a little bit about myself and my background. So, I'm originally from Hungary, uh, but I didn't do all of my education there previous to coming to Utrecht University. So, I finished my secondary education in the UK. So, I did the so-called A-levels in the UK in Bristol at a grammar school. And um, there I took subjects like maths, economics and German. And um, then I decided to move on to do my bachelor's in, in Hungary. Um, I chose to continue with my studies in economics. So I did a bachelor called International Economics and Business. And I combined that with a double degree in um, Finland, in a university called Seinäjoki University of Applied Sciences, which gave me both degrees. So that was kind of prior to a decision to pursue a master's at all. Regarding the, the programs that I studied at Utrecht University and my interests for them. Um, so I've always been quite interested in economics because my father has run his own business since I was born, basically. And since I did that at A-levels and at Bachelor, it was kind of a given that, would, uh, that I would continue with that. So um, my first master at Utrecht University was in international management. That was a master of science. And it was just kind of a natural follow up in terms of the, the study material and the international aspect. Um, and the experience that I've had so far in terms of studying abroad. And the second master that I chose to do is somewhat different, but to my um, experience still related, because I've always been really keen on diplomacy and history, and I've always really enjoyed connecting countries' histories and economics and politics to each other. So that's why I kind of decided to study international relations and historical perspective, also at Utrecht University. And um, that didn't really have to do much with my economics related background per se. So it's not finance heavy, it's not maths heavy. It's a master of arts, not a master of sciences, the previous master I did, but uh, I've just always had a natural interest for, for this kind of world. And I kind of did it for my own enjoyment. Yeah, what, uh, what other masters and what other programs I applied to. So I wasn't really the kind of person to apply for a bunch and then see which place takes me. Um, it was a very tough decision in general. So a lot of investigation went into it. Um, I looked internationally in general. So anywhere in Europe, basically. Um, and for me, it was kind of a given to follow up with with a more international program outside of Hungary. I've lived abroad for so long that it didn't even really cross my mind to do a master's in Hungary. And um, when I was applying for the first one um, for international management, I did apply to another one in, um, in Valencia uh, because my dream has always been to come back to Valencia after my first experience here. Um, but then I evaluated a lot of things, including um, the quality of education, the job prospects it might give me, just generally uh, every possible factor that I could find. So it was a very lengthy decision. And actually, I wasn't admitted um, in the program at Utrecht University at first. And then I applied for an appeal and then the decision was revisited and revised. So it wasn't easy at all because I had to give up my short place at the University of Valencia um, for me to pursue an unsure, unsecured place here at uh, Utrecht University. But uh, I think it was still really worth it. And I'm really happy that um, I decided the way that I did. Um, regarding the factors that went into my decision, I've already mentioned a couple in terms of quality of education, the employability and the future value of the degree, the reputation of the university, the teachers at the university. I also looked at 
really um, small details as well, like the exact modules that I could take, um, just in general, the quality of living, what I would get out of the master in the long run. So I looked at the whole package. So it definitely wasn't an easy decision for me. It wasn't something that I rushed together. Um, I realized that, for example, the master at Utrecht would be a lot more challenging than maybe other masters I've looked at um, and applied for, but uh, I thought that it was worth um, the trade-off because I just thought, if I really apply myself and really challenge myself, I'm going to learn skills that are going to be invaluable. And um, that was the case with quite a few subjects, including econometrics, which uh, was definitely one of the more difficult subjects, but it was also one of the modules that pushed me to pursue this master's. So altogether, anything from quality of living, um, just basically the culture and the attitude towards higher education, um, the other possibilities of extracurricular activities at the university um, that all went into the decision. So something I wish I had known before coming to Utrecht University or before enrolling. So I, um, I was quite well informed, but I know that I've done so much research on this that it's probably not even realistic. Um, but there were a couple of things that I maybe didn't realize or because I wasn't really in the country, I didn't really know how things would work, like logistics and how exam registrations work, um, but that didn't really make a difference or didn't bother me um, that much. Maybe one of the things that I didn't know is just how challenging it would be, but in a good way. So how much support I would get, but how much I would have to push myself. And I, as I said before, I've always been a really good student, so it was never a question whether I want to do this or want to succeed, but there were a couple of subjects where I knew I, I needed help. So for example, what I mentioned previously about econometrics. So I had no background in this. So I was required to do a summer course in this, for example. Um, that means I got a conditional offer to the university to my first program but I had no idea that it would be this, uh, yeah, this exciting and this challenging. And regarding my second master in international relations in historical perspective, um, again, I had more of an economics related background. So I studied together with students who had more of a history or more of a law or international relations background or conflict studies. So I was from a kind of different world I felt and I wasn't fully aware of the extent of this so I wasn't sure if there would be other students from different um, disciplinary modules or different studies um, to access this master's and that was definitely new um, and even though the language of education was English obviously the more uh, you're relating things to history and uh, literature and law and these kind of um, subjects that are not as scientific but more as a historical base, the more language applies and the bigger role language plays. So sometimes that was a bit unexpected. Um, but altogether, I feel like I was quite well prepared, especially with my first master's. And for my second master's, I was well prepared because I had already been living in Utrecht and visiting Utrecht University on a regular basis for a year. So. Um, I wouldn't say you had massive surprises, but there are always little things that, uh, that kind of catch you off guard. My first time in Utrecht actually happened with, um, with that visit to the summer school and my inscription into the summer school, um, because that's kind of part of the deal um, that I had the conditional offer for. And I actually had major luck because everyone has this stereotype of the Netherlands is rainy and dark and cloudy and all of those things that <laughs> come to your mind about the country. But when I arrived mid-August, it was sunny and people were at picnicking and canals and students everywhere from all different disciplines. So I really loved that first experience that I came to Utrecht and I saw this, this buzzing international lifestyle Obviously, there were loads of summer school courses going on at the same time. So I met people from loads of countries, from loads of disciplines, from physics and uh, 
chemistry and science education and veterinary science, anything you can imagine. So that was a first major boost, uh, boost saying, wow, this might be a really exciting place to study at. And even though I was already excited about the program and what I would learn and the teachers I would meet, that was kind of a moment which made me think that this is a lot more than, than just the courses I'm going to take. Um, so I, I already had a pretty good idea that I made the right call. And I already met amazing people. And um, then I actually went back to Hungary to be with my family for a week before I made the, the final move to Utrecht to start the, the university course officially. And even then we had a really well organized um, first meet and greet meeting the professors, socializing with the students, having a big overview of what's about to come, just a whole year basically laid out to us. So I was really impressed how well organized it all was and, and how seriously everyone took it. So it wasn't just a regular, oh, okay, here's your prospectus and, and go figure out what's where. Um, it was really meticulously organized. Everyone took it very seriously and they knew that a lot hangs in this and this whole professional attitude just made me take it even more seriously. So for me, it was a no brainer afterwards if it was the right decision. Of course, that's the very first impression. So what made me stay is obviously part of all these experiences, all the experiences I had during my studies. I was in the ESN, so the Erasmus Student Network as well, actively collaborating. I worked as a student assistant, so all of this was just so positive for me that it convinced me to stay another year and study something that I'm personally interested in as well. Um, whether I had any doubts uh, about my study, so I'm not going to lie, it wasn't perfect. So it wasn't this, you know, rainbows and unicorns everywhere and never ever had any hiccups kind of uh, study. But again, it's not supposed to be. So you're not supposed to just fly through it as if it were a piece of cake uh, because then you're not growing, you're not learning. And I was very conscious of this going in, which made, me, made it so much easier to deal with the doubts and the difficulties. Because as I said, for instance, I had no background in econometrics. So for me, when I started not getting the right marks on, on a certain mock exam or some tests or just having a difficult time wrapping my hand, head around certain medals, there I did think, wow, am I really cut out for this? Or when I felt that I'm really struggling, for example, with my thesis, I went through a, a major crisis with my thesis um, because that was a personal crisis. And for me, it made all the difference in the world that I got so much support, especially from my supervisor who just said to take it easy and just supported me throughout the whole thing. But that was a moment when I genuinely thought, am I going to be, be able to make it? Because if it had only depended on me, I probably wouldn't be here right now talking about my studies there because I wouldn't have graduated, but I just got so much support. And it wasn't because it was that difficult. But we each have our own battles, own difficulties in our personal and professional lives. Sometimes we take on too much. Sometimes we don't think we're enough. I think those are normal kind of doubts. So I didn't have anything extraordinary that would make me say that this is not right or this was the wrong choice. But it was definitely a healthy challenge to grow as an individual, as a professional. So that those really pushed me through. Um, but I would say it was all worth it. And I didn't really consider it quitting. Um, there was one point when, when I did, um, during my second master's, again, through a, a thesis, um, because I had a, a physical accident and I couldn't be present. So I actually had to move away from the Netherlands. And that was a moment when, again, I really had second, second thoughts about how difficult it would be um, how I could manage all my research without actually being able to move around. I had a foot injury. So it all, it, it all came together. But again, I had uh, great support from the entire university staff. I had a lot of people um, cheering me on from my family and friends and study buddies. Um, 
and that's why I could really make a remarkable thesis, um, remarkable in terms of the topic, not in terms of how well I've written it, of course. Um, and, and it just made all the difference for me. Regarding the highlights of uh, my university career, if you can put it this way, um, I think there were quite a few. So in general, I had a really good time, uh, despite all the difficulties and all the debts I mentioned, which I think are normal for any master's student. Um, if you're not going crazy in the library, at least once during your studies, you're not really studying. Um, but the highlight, I think one of them was joining the journalism committee at the Erasmus Student Network. So that was an amazing experience, just being able to write articles and, and investigate things and just meet a bunch of great, well, we all happen to be girls, but just a, a great team, a bunch of great people to, to make something happen not just articles, but quarterly magazines. So I really love that. And then having the honor of being asked to work as a student assistant and a student ambassador for me was just incredible because I thought that that's actual proof of how I'm being appreciated for my work and for my attitude. And just in general, having a good time, you know, meeting international people, studying together, working on real life case studies, the whole experience was kind of a big highlight for me, but if I had to name two that were really, really specific, these two would be it. So joining the journalism committee and then working as a student assistant during my first year. Um, how I feel about my choices after having graduated. So after having graduated from the first master's, I already knew I was going to go for the second one. Um, again, a very different field, of course. But it was an amazing feeling of accomplishment to have been you know, awarded another opportunity to study at uh, the same university, but a different master's. And now that I've completed both and I've been working for a couple of years already, um, again abroad, so I moved to Valencia, Spain, making my dream come true, but just not during my university years, um, it feels right. So I think I made the right call because Sometimes there was a sense of doubt whether I should have just moved to Valencia first for personal reasons, but I'm so happy that I made this decision because I could have waited um, longer or I, I could have not waited this long to make this move, but I'm so happy that I got to experience the courses and the student life and generally the Dutch way of living um, uh, during these two years at Utrecht because I really made connections. I mean, I know everyone says that, that all oh, the connections you make at university, blah, 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 but it's really true. So I'm still in touch with my program coordinator, with the new program coordinator, with some teachers. I still every now and then talk to a couple of classmates who now run their own businesses or are employed at a major financial institution or, you know, do other incredible things. So I am so grateful for having, having participated in all of this and, and having given myself the chance to grow and to study, not just professionally, although what I've learned is still really valuable and, and I really appreciate all the classes and lectures and assignments, uh, but just the whole experience for me has been a game changer and it sounds a bit cheesy, but I don't think I'd be the, the same person if I hadn't done this. And I'm just really happy that I did and I don't regret it a bit. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And uh, we hope to see you all at our future events. For now, so long.